Yeah, just because they're on, it doesn't mean to say it's coming from them, but yeah. Uh, oh, I see. That's what he meant. I thought he meant, he meant, how do you know it's my boat? Mm. How do I own it? I can hear it coming out anyway, earlier. Okay. Were they pumping, Jane? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, everyone. So I'm a little bit late. Just had to sort some out uh, before I came on. Hope everyone's good. Uh, today is 23rd of October, Wednesday. Happy hump day for those of two uh, midweek, halfway through it. Uh, as far as on passive uh, updates is concerned, uh, the only update I've got is uh, it's been circulating that there is uh, a app in Android. It's a fake app, actually, guys. It looks like it's coming from on passive. It's not. It's completely fake. And it says on passive support. OK, so if you are looking at uh, either the Android uh, or OES Apple um, apps at all, uh, if you see one that says OP support, it's completely fake. It's not from corporate. So don't download it. Don't use it. Don't touch it. OK, because it's nothing to do with on passive. OK, as always. Only download uh, the relevant apps directly from the ecosystem uh, or official on passive sites, okay, when we are told to do it. All right. So just a word of warning uh, on that. Uh, that's all I've got as far as updates is concerned from uh, the company uh, that I know about. Uh, obviously, as always, I know that they are working in the background uh, at the moment. Uh, that little bits and pieces uh, that I've noticed, but nothing of uh, importance, guys. OK, so keep logging in at least once a day uh, for any of the pop ups. So today's uh, topic I wanted to chair to talk about is resilience. Now, the reason I've chosen this today is because it really does uh, epitomize not only uh, our company, but more importantly, what our CEO uh, has gone through. Now, I'm actually going to go to now uh, the dictionary and resilience. It says the capacity to withstand or to recover quickly from difficulties, toughness, the remarkable resilience of so many uh, people. Uh, it's also the ability of a uh, substance or object to spring back into shape uh, elasticus, uh, from elasticity. Woof. So the reason I wanted to bring that is because we really have withstood an awful lot, haven't we, uh, as far as on passive as a business. But we're also going to spring back and come back much, much stronger because of our resilience. I think all of us as well have been pretty resilient with on passive. I think that our uh, convictions and resilience with staying the course alongside on passive, alongside our CEO through the journey of the years to see the outcome of this amazing company. That is resilience in itself from our own point of view, but nothing compares to what our CEO has been through and the resilience that he has shown to be steadfast in what he is doing and what he is trying to achieve with this business. And it really is a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It really is uh, commendable that he has stood tough, and tall to uh, shield us from a lot of what he has gone through. But his resilience really has shown, hasn't it? You know, a lot of people would have maybe thrown the towel in when the going got tough. Not our CEO. He literally rolled his sleeves up and said, this is not going to break me. This is not going to collapse the company. This is not going to stop us doing what we are trying to do and really has shown how much he can take really to be able to push forward as far as getting this company going once again. But also, I think, in my opinion, that the spring back or the uh, coming back stronger of On Passive will make it such an epic uh, thing to watch because in all of this adversity, there is only going to 
important outcome, isn't there? And that is what we've been told, an amazing company that is go that's going to attract so many millions of people because of our products and services. So I really will not only look forward to that time, but I actually don't think we're that far away. Listen, there's an awful lot going on behind the scenes that we don't know about, myself included. But one thing I do know is that they are doing their best that they can possibly do within the boundaries of what they are allowed to do as far as moving forward is concerned. I'm sure there's an awful lot of legal things that um, they have to navigate to for us to be able to go to this next stage. But um, myself personally, I would really like to thank our CEO for his resilience in staying the course and putting this company back on track. We heard from him probably a year ago now that he was saying that he's taking back control of the company. He saw then, didn't he? that things weren't as he wanted it to be. And again, having that resilience to actually say, this isn't right, this isn't what I want, this isn't the direction that I want this company to go in, and taking all of that back in control and really being up against the wall and being able to bounce back so that we have our data, we have our information, all back waiting uh, for it. Somebody in the chat's just saying we're waiting a very long time. Yes, we are. We've all been waiting a very long time. Does that mean to say it's not going to happen? No, not at all. All That is all we have been asked to do is to wait. He is doing everything within his power. He is doing the things that he needs to do for this company to go to the next phase. If you are one of the people who can't wait, we can't make you stay. But one thing's for sure is if you can't wait, why put yourself through the trauma that you are under that you might be thinking, why is it taking so long? Do something else. We've said it many times. Get on with your life. On passive is going to be there, but get on with your life in your own way. The resilience that we have shown, the resilience that our CEO has shown us really makes me more determined to see this through than it ever has done before. And hopefully the same for you guys as well. Saying how, why is it taking so long is not going to change in any way, shape or form the speed of the outcome. It's not going to make our CEO speed up in any way because he has said it many, many times. He is responsible and he does not give any heed whatsoever to what other people say so you either believe in this project you believe in our ceo you believe in what he is trying to do or you don't he wants to have the true on passivians here alongside with him he doesn't want the fence sitters he doesn't want the people who are negative towards the company he wants the people to back him and that's exactly what i am doing and i'm sure many many thousands of you out there are doing exactly the same as i am as well tomorrow thursday will be my last uh live that i'm going to do this week uh, can't do on Friday, Saturday or Sunday. Uh, as Jane said on Monday, we're going off to see Jane's sister. And I want to dedicate my time to being with family uh, for the next few days. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Uh, we won't be here on Monday for Monday fun day, but I might do a quick update when I get back but it will be at a bit different time. So tomorrow will be the last one. I'll give you another update on that as well uh, when uh, I know a little bit more. But for now, uh, enjoy uh, the weekend. If I don't see you tomorrow, have a really good time. And obviously, if there is any pertinent information that I need to give to you, I certainly will do. And I will obviously bring that as soon as possible, uh, not even on a new uh, uh, my normal time, I'll do it as an ad hoc as well. Okay, that's it from me. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, over 250 of you, which is fantastic for popping on. 
uh, for this very short update. And like I said, as soon as I've got information, I shall give it to you. And as soon as there is any more uh, bits and pieces within the ecosystem that I can uh, let you know about, I'll do that as well. That's it from me. Bye for now.